Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on backing up and restoring your website. It's a good idea to back up your website periodically to protect against accidental file deletion, to save new versions of your site when you make changes, and to keep your website safe. To back up your website, begin by logging into your cPanel. Remember, to log into your cPanel, add 4-cPanel to the end of your URL. For example, if your URL is www.mysite.com, you would get to your cPanel by going to www.mysite.com forward slash cPanel. You can then log in with your username and password. You receive your cPanel username and password in your BrainHost welcome email. Once you are logged in, you're going to scroll down to Files and click on Backup Wizard. Here you're going to go ahead and click on Backup. On this page, ignore the full backup section on the right. Instead, you will need to perform the partial backups on the left-hand side of the screen. You can perform one, two, or all three partial backups. If you do not have any email accounts set up for your website, you only need to perform backups for your home directory and MySQL databases in order to back up your site. If you do have email accounts set up for your website, you should also back up your email forwarders and filters. In order to perform these partial backups, simply click on one of them. For this example, we will perform home directory backup. So click on home directory. Now you're going to go ahead and click home directory. When you click on the button, you'll be asked to open or save the file to your computer choose save and then go ahead and press OK to save that file to your computer. You have now saved the backup of your website's home directory to your computer. Click on the go back button to return to the backup screen. You can now repeat the backup process to back up your MySQL database and email forwarders and filters. To restore your website, return to your cPanel's home screen by pressing home here. And you can do this from any screen you're on by clicking on the home icon in the upper left hand corner and it takes you to the home page. Now you're going to scroll down to the files box and click on backup wizard. Now you're going to go ahead and click on restore. Choose the part of your website that you want to restore. In this example, we will restore the home directory. So go ahead and click on home directory. Now you're going to click on browse and find the backup file that you saved to your computer when you backed up your home directory. Once you find it, go ahead and select upload. And you'll get a screen that says restoring files. Your backed up files have now been restored. To repeat the restore processes for MySQL databases and email forwarders and filters, click the home icon and start the process again. And that concludes our tutorial on backing up and restoring your website.